Now, so what you do here is go to your editor, go to color way here. So this is color way here. So what you need to do is just click on this icon here, this plus icon. Yes, so this is it. So now that you have white here, you can keep the old um features of the white and let's move to the black one or let's use something that okay let's use black color now so this is black color now so what you just need to do is just tap on fabric so when you tap on fabric here yeah, it's meant to um activate so this is it um white let's change it to black apply apply then you do the same here so it doesn't work if the, the fact that you are here, if you click here and it doesn't show you, you can just come here to click because this is the option of the color winner. It's not on this. So any changes you make now would only be on this particular um colorway copy, not the first colorway. So um you can put it on black. Yes, so this is it. Black, black, black. Now you can go as far as changing the stitches color. If you don't want the stitches to be white, you can tap on the stitches and change it to black so tap on this one too this is why they change it to black and if you want to change the logo it's possible for you to change the logo color i don't know if you watch my tutorial on how to change the graphics color here i can change it without leaving this uh clotility software or probably going to photoshop to do some little adjustment you can do all these things within um clotility so i'll probably change this um black team here this half cut of my logo to white so what i'll just do is to go to um texture this is already on um logo so what i'll do is go to texture let me remove this because it's going to pop out yeah so you can just cancel that you're already on this so just go to texture and you can cancel the color way up then you activate color switch so uh how many colors are here so all i know i just need to do is to change this black to white so every black color there going to turn to white so done so this is going to look like um and let's do apply and close so uh, let's see to synchronize so this is it here i don't know why it's smaller uh, let's use the edit pattern uh, this one. edit and um, graphics so uh, okay yeah this is it so white logo then you can always go back to your avatar um sorry your editor and go to color way so you can see this is white as you can see and this is for black then we can move again to another color you know you are going uh further so uh what can what color t-shirt should we do again just tap on the um the color you want to go back to um yes so this color we can change it to Okay, let's have a red t-shirt. Uh, so, um, what else again? Yeah, um, I can only be white. I think white is nice. So, uh, what else again can we change? Can change the stitches to red to change these stitches to red to so um have i changed the shirt color yes it has it take time so this is just color way so if, in case you want to go back to the first color you can just always switch when you render this one you can switch back render the other one, you can switch back instead of going through this process of coming here and then the other stuff has gone and if there's any correction again then you have to like start again from the beginning to make that correction and start rendering from each colors so when you already have your color way here you can always activate the one you want so yeah, exactly. So this is just how to use um colorway as a beginner in um uh, 3D. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to get more Clotri D tutorial. So you can always drop your questions or request for video you want on a particular um features.
or what you want to learn on Pro3D. Thank you.